Hi guys, this is lesson number 11 from our Coral Draw training series. In this exercise, uh, we are going to learn how to create 3D text. As you can see that 3D text we have here with this base and this box and uh, oval shape here. We have some 3D oval shape. Let's get started. Let's move this element to the side. All right. So we can start with the text. We can type text first. Make sure the cap lock is on and uh, type your desired text. I am going to type our channel name. Okay. So you need to make it sure that you are going to choose some thick font. Okay. I am going to select Arial Black. You can choose your desired font. Make it big. We can bring our color palette out here. So we can select the color easily just expand this way all right here we have a text and uh, we need to fill the color let's fill some color maybe light orange okay so here we have color to apply this 3d effect we need to use 3d tool that is extrude while it is selected you need to click here drop shadow okay in your computer in your coral draw drop shadow tool it is the first tool it will appear you need to click and go to the extrude that is the last one click on extrude so once you click on the extrude you can see that here our property bar is having extrude uh, options click on preset here and go to the top left let's apply the first preset top left and you can see that here we have uh, text extruded but if you will observe text is extruded in the front so our main text is in the back if i will apply color to the text it will not affect this because this is the back side of the 3d so we need to change the side okay first thing we need to close we need to switch off the light in coral draw background because the 3d text is having lights okay so once the light is on you cannot see the real color that you will apply from the color palette while it is selected you can click here you can see that there is a 3d control we have and there is a light click here and you can see here we have two lights blue that two lights on so we can switch off okay so now we get here single color that we apply from our color palette so what we can do here we can apply our 3d color to apply 3d single color you need to click here and go to the second option here okay and uh, you can choose your desired color whatever the color you like here if from this palette let's choose some light color i will choose this and this is our now 3d color but you can see that there is a no line there is nothing uh, that the 3d is not clear wait a minute we will fix it now so the first thing we need to apply the outline okay you can see that here we have an outline so i'm going to choose some dark color for outline and uh, the outline appears with our 3d text from here we can adjust it but we are not going to do first we need to bring the text in the front as if i will apply color now you see that this color now i apply to the text but it's not coming in the text because our text is in the back so we need to change the direction how to do that here we have option you can see that extrusion type if i will go to this one here second last from here okay now you can see that our extrusion it goes in the back and our text come in the front so carefully what you need to do you need to bring this x this way okay all right now here we have uh, text in the front and you can see the color that we filled it is coming in the front any color i will fill it will show up so this is our front side so i apply this color here and this is how we have 3d text and if i want i can adjust it we can reduce the size from this here okay so i think it is uh, enough let's go and create uh, here base for this 3d create one rectangular shape here simple rectangle we will apply 3d effect okay so select it go to the extrude and here we have preset top left and now this is how it is applied once it is applied 
I can fill color we can switch off the lights okay and uh, here we will change it to this so you can see that now the front is this and it is extruded back so I can bring it close this way and if I want I can fill in my 3d2 colors also on the back we have option here you can go to this here and the third option once you will select this one use color shading click here and you can see that we have two color okay this color the orange color it's coming from the back of the shape and the white color is coming from the really from the back side so if I will change this color you can see that this way it is because our object is now in the front and this color if I will change it will affect from the back side okay so that is fine and if we want we can change our outline I can make orange while it is selected we can send it back object order to back of the page now our text come in the front so this is how we have now you can see that here we have a nice effect that you know it is enveloped before we use envelope from our window docker effect and here we have envelope we use in our previous lesson this option but similar control we have in our toolbox also once you will go to the 3d tool here select first this select the 3d text click on extrude hold down and go down here the second last is envelope if I will click on envelope you need to click you can see that once I click it now envelope is already in our text and if I will click and drag from the center you can see that the text it goes this way and this is how you can apply this thing now if I will go back again and go to the extrude now this is our extrude and I will bring it up a little bit so we'll get the similar effect in our text let's uh, bring this text here we can copy from this text press plus key from the keyboard we don't need to type and we can adjust it here a little bit rotation we need according to this 3d box and we'll increase the size all right uh, now we are going to apply this shadow you can see that in the 3d we have shadow here you need to understand that if you will click on the 3d here okay the 3d text 3d with the text is selected but if you will click on the text in the front here in this area only text will be selected we are not going to apply the shadow with the 3d we'll apply with the text click on the text orange and go to drop shadow okay click on drop shadow and carefully click in the middle somewhere here and drag so you will see that we have a shadow on the back side but here we have some problem that the shadow is there but since it is coming from the text it is affecting our 3d so it doesn't look realistic so for this thing what we can do we can copy this 3d with the text and another copy we can place in front of this okay so first you adjust the shadow if you want you can change the color here we can apply some color this way and we can adjust even from here we can make it dark we can make it light uh, now if I will click on the text here and press plus key you can see that only the text is selected okay so we don't need to select the text this way so what we will do we'll click on 3d in this 3d area and press plus once you will click on 3d and press plus only the 3d it will be copied with the text but the shadow will not remain okay now this 3d now in the front we have with the text and uh, that is without shadow okay so once it is in the front it give more realistic look and you can see that uh, this how we get this nice effect in our 3d text and we have a shadow in the back so that is done let's go to the next here we have another variation of the 3d you can see that we have a oval shape and uh, same text is there we need to draw oval shape click here all right okay so we have oval here we'll go to this here drop shadow is active we'll click and click on extrude okay now extrude uh, tool is active and we have property for extrude here click and apply top left now it is applied and uh, we can fill color 
in our object. The color is coming from the back side, it's mean the real oval is in the back and it is extruded in the front. So same thing we will do, we'll click here and apply this. Now the oval is in the front and the 3D it goes back. So we can adjust it this way. Now we need to reduce the size, whatever the size we want. Carefully you need to select. While it is selected, click here and switch off these lights. So here we have select the extrusion color from here. We are going to apply two colors. So click here. This color, it is uh, affecting our object from here. So we will apply another color, let's say gold. And from the bottom, maybe we can apply some other orange shade. Okay, so that is fine. We can change the outline. Okay, so similar outline we have now. So this is how we have a base and the same text I can copy and place it here. We don't need to do again since it is the same process. Select everything because we have two copies here. Press plus and simply bring it here. Now we need to bring it in the front also. Object, order to front of the page. So it is on the top of oval. We can reduce the size if we want or we can increase the size of oval. It's really up to you how you want to manage. And here we can select this text and make it a little bit bright color. Okay, so that is fine. Locate it here and uh, here we are going to add the text. This text we will envelop. In our previous lesson we learned how to envelop from the windows and docker effect. But this time we are going to envelop from the tool. Okay, we will use tool, envelop tool to envelop the text inside here. So for this thing, select the rectangle tool, click and drag to draw a shape. Simply go to object, convert to curve, shape tool, click in the middle and segment curve. Click on segment curve and click again here in this line in the middle and apply segment curve. But this time we are not going to just drag it from the middle. We have your segments, so click and drag it down to adjust. If you lose, you can again click on the corner. And once you have, you can click and drag to adjust the shape this way. All right. You can make it more perfect. Since I am recording, I will just show you the way how to do. Now click here in the upper corner and here we have a point bring it down from this side if you miss up you can click on the corner and again you can drag it okay i think it's enough click on pick tool and bring it down this shape carefully here we have now we'll copy this text press plus key to copy this text and uh, leave it somewhere here we are going to apply envelop to this text so while the text is selected go to the same place here and uh, second last is envelop click on envelop and what you need to do you need to select this shape but before you select here is option create envelop from okay so click on this button and then click inside this shape once you will click inside this shape you can see that this shape preview it's appear with the text so our text is going to be with this shape so here what we need to do, we need to carefully click on the path. Okay, this is a little bit tricky. Sometimes you will miss, but you will once you will keep clicking. Okay, so you can see that now our text is enveloped inside. And uh, we can select the pick tool. We can resize this way and locate it here object order to front of the page this is how we get this nice 3d effect and we apply drop shadow also to the text 3d text in coral draw it is a little bit tricky uh, for first time user but follow the instruction from this video and try to practice you will get it guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you